हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर तृप्ति वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंजॉय बायोकेमिस्ट्री इन द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन विटामिन टुडे लेट्स लर्न अबाउट विटामिन सी वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस अ केस स्टडी ऑन विटामिन सी डेफिशिएंसी दैट इज करवी विटामिन सी इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज अस्कॉर्बिक एसिड इट इज द वॉटर सोल्यूबल इसेंशियल विटामिन इट इज स्ट्रक्चरली सिमिलर टू हेक्सोजिस दैट इज कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इट ऑकर्स इन टू फॉर्म्स डी अस्कॉर्बिक एसिड एंड एल अस्कॉबिक एसिड डी अस्कॉबिक एसिड हैज नो एक्टिविटी बट एल अस्कॉबिक एसिड इट इज द एक्टिव फॉर्म ऑफ विटामिन सी एंड दिस इज द स्ट्रॉन्ग रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट सो ऑन विटामिन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इन द यूरिन सैंपल द विटामिन सी इज एक्सक्रीटेड इन द अनचेंज फॉर्म एंड दैट्स वाई द बेनेडिक टेस्ट विल बिकम पॉजिटिव एंड बींग द वॉटर सोल्यूबल विटामिन this vitamin c it is readily absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract and it is reversibly oxidized to form dehydroascorbic acid this reaction is reversible further this dehydroascorbic acid it is hydrolyzed to form 2,3 diketoglucanic acid and from this 2,3 diketoglucanic acid there is formation of oxalic acid and this vitamin c it is excreted unchanged in the urine along with its metabolites like 2,3 diketoglucanic acid and oxalic acid and most of the oxalic acid that is present in the urine comes from vitamin C and rest comes from the glycine metabolism in humans vitamin C is essential and has to be supplied in the diet because it cannot be synthesized in the body Uh, however in plants and lower animals it can be synthesized from glucose through uronic acid pathway in uh, plants and lower animals the l gluconolactan oxidase enzyme will convert l gluconate to l ascorbic acid however this enzyme it is not present in humans and higher primates and that, that's why vitamin c cannot be synthesized in humans by uronic acid pathway and that's why it becomes essential and has to be supplied in diet The richest source of vitamin C is amla that is Indian gooseberry and the other good sources are oranges lemon papaya guava green leafy vegetables like cabbage cauliflower capsicum green peas etc and the RDA of vitamin C in adults is 60 to 75 mg per day while in pregnancy lactation and old age it becomes 100 mg per day and the highest content of vitamin c it is present in adrenal glands and gonads vitamin c performs various biochemical functions the important function is collagen formation second iron absorption and hemoglobin metabolism it functions as a cofactor in various enzymes involved in hydroxylation reaction it has antioxidant property so it function as by biological antioxidant along with vitamin E it has a role in bile acid synthesis it has various immunological functions and also it has a role in cellular respiration now let's see the biochemical functions of vitamin C and the first important one is collagen formation this collagen formation is required for production of supporting tissue like osteoid involved in the bone formation dentin involved in teeth formation an intercellular substance of capillaries and this collagen formation involves various steps like formation of pro collagen from pre pro collagen then tropo collagen from pro collagen and finally collagen fibrils to form collagen fibers so this first step of pro collagen from from pre pro collagen it involves post translational hydroxylation of proline and lysine and this hydroxylation reaction involves the hydroxylase proline hydroxylase lysyl hydroxylase and this process occurs in endoplasmic reticulum of fibroblast so this is the reaction showing hydroxylation of proline to hydroxyproline by proline hydroxylase this is dioxygenase enzyme which uh, involves uh, or which requires molecular oxygen and this proline hydroxylase it has uh, uh, ferrous in its active form so here during this hydroxylation reaction this ferrous ion it is oxidized to ferric ion now for the reduction of this ferric ions to ferrous ion vitamin c is required so what is the role of vitamin c here vitamin c is important for reduction of 
ferric ion to ferrous ion so that this hydroxylation pro process should go on which is required for the collagen formation vitamin c also has a role in iron absorption and hemoglobin metabolism so it helps in the absorption of iron in intestine by reducing ferric ions to ferrous ions so vitamin c has a reducing property and that's why it converts dietary iron to ferrous form and that's how it enhance its absorption from the intestine it also plays a role in storage of iron as ferritin form in the bone marrow spleen and liver it converts myth hemoglobin into hemoglobin and it increases the oxygen combining capacity of hemoglobin and enhances the supply of oxygen to, to the tissues it is also required for conversion of folic acid to its coenzyme form tetrahydrofolic acid thus vitamin c along with tetrahydrofolic acid it is involved in the maturation of erythrocytes and erythropoiesis vitamin c functions as a cofactor during various hydroxylation reactions and this hydroxylation reactions by various copper containing enzyme involves the oxidation of cuprous ions to cupric ions and the hydroxylation uh, hydroxylation of iron containing enzyme it involves the oxidation of ferrous to ferric ion now the reduction of cupric ions to cuprous ions and ferric ions to ferrous ions it requires vitamin c so this vitamin c has role in catecholamine formation that is conversion of dopamine to norepinephrine para hydroxyphenyl pyruvate to homogentic acid which, which is the step of tyrosine metabolism and that's why vitamin c has a role in tyrosine metabolism then tryptophan to 5 hydroxy tryptophan hydroxylation requires vitamin c and this step is important for serotonin synthesis then hydroxylation of proline and lysine to hydroxyproline and hydroxylysine it is very important for collagen synthesis also in the adrenal gland corticosteroid hormone synthesis also requires vitamin c so these are the various enzymatic functions of vitamin c vitamin c is a strong biological antioxidant and it acts along with vitamin e the mem cell membrane phospholipids have polyunsaturated fatty acids which are continuously exposed to oxidant injury by free radicals and there is lipid peroxidation so on exposure to the free radicals there is formation of lipid peroxy radical and this vitamin e it breaks this chain of lipid peroxidation by donating its hydrogen to the lipid peroxy radical and there is formation of hydro peroxy radical but during this process the oxidized uh, reduced form of vitamin e becomes oxidized so there is formation of phenoxy radical now to bring back this oxidized form to the reduced form of vitamin e vitamin c plays a very important role so this vitamin c is required for converting this phenoxy radical oxidized form to the reduced form of vitamin c and that's how it helps vitamin e in its action of chain breaking antioxidant and further to bring back the uh, to the reduced form of vitamin c glutathione and nadph are required so this is how vitamin c helps vitamin e uh, in scavenging the free radicals and they act as chain breaking antioxidant Vitamin C also has a role in bile acid synthesis in immunological functions and also in cellular respiration cholesterol degradation that is bile acid synthesis it involves 7 alpha hydroxylase so the this hydroxylation reaction requires vitamin C and there is formation of 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol from cholesterol vitamin C increases the synthesis of immunoglobulins and it also increases the phagocytic action of uh, leukocytes and that's how it performs its immunological functions it is essential for electron transport chain and in presence of vitamin c the cytochrome oxidase it has the optimum activity vitamin c deficiency is known as scurvy and it is manifested as hemorrhagic tendency even under minor pressure so what are the clinical manifestations in mild deficiency it can be seen as a petechy 
and ecchymosis or hematomas in case of severe deficiency so there is subcutaneous and oral mucous membrane hemorrhages can be observed it can also be accompanied with the internal bleeding which can be observed in the form of epist axis that is bleeding from the nose hematuria that is blood is present in the urine and melina that is blood in stool gums become swollen painful spongy and bleeds on the slightest pressure scorbutic gingivitis can be seen which involves gingivitis bleeding and ulceration of gingiva what is the biochemical basis of all these clinical features due to vitamin c deficiency collagen formation is defective the collagen becomes abnormal and that's why the bleeding tendencies are observed the intercellular substance of the capillaries become brittle and that's why there is hemorrhage and the capillaries become fragile and that's why there is hemorrhagic tendency in scurvy even under minor pressure in scurvy in addition to the hemorrhagic changes various skin changes skeletal changes and anemia can also be seen what are those skin changes in the scurvy the skin becomes dry rough and pigmented there is perifollicular hyperkeratotic papules are seen on the skin skeletal changes include the scorbutic weak bone which can easily fracture there is subperiosteal bleeding in the joint cavities hemorrhage can be seen joints become painful there is swelling on the joints and wound healing is delayed scurvy is associated with microcytic hypochromic anemia poikilocytosis anisocytosis what is the biochemical basis for the anemia seen in scurvy because due to hemorrhagic tendency there is blood loss so due to this blood loss it is manifested as anemia due to because vitamin c is important for absorption and storage of iron so vitamin c deficiency leads to decrease absorption and uh, storage of iron there is altered folic acid metabolism and accumulation of myth hemoglobin in the erythrocytes so all these are responsible for the clinical manifestations of anemia in scurvy vitamin c deficiency assessment can be done by clinical test called as tunica test or it is also called as capillary fragility test which is positive in this condition in this test if a sphygmomanometer cuff is placed in the forearm and the pressure is kept for 5 minutes then petechiae may be seen under the skin serum assay of vitamin c level and hplc that is high performance liquid chromatography can be used to estimate the levels of vitamin c and which are useful to assess the vitamin c deficiency vitamin c has various therapeutic uses also so it is used as an adjuvant in the treatment of infection because it stimulate phagocytosis by wbc it is used in the treatment of ulcer trauma and burn as an adjuvant because of its power to heal wounds and it is given in the treatment of common cold hypercholesterolemia diabetes mellitus hypertension stroke alzheimer disease in addition to the treatment of those particular disease so these are the various therapeutic uses of vitamin c now let's see a case study of vitamin c deficiency that is scurvy a 6 year old baby was brought to the hospital with complaints of painful and bleeding gums on examination petechiae were seen joints were swollen and painful capillary fragility test was positive iron deficiency anemia was present so we have already discussed that uh, the vitamin c deficiency is manifested as petechiae painful bleeding gums and uh, swollen and painful joints in this condition capillary fragility test is also positive and the patient can present with microcytic hypochromic anemia and it is also important for uh, absorption of iron that's why the patient presents with iron deficiency anemia these are the various questions which can be asked on this case study like what is the probable diagnosis so it is vitamin c deficiency justify in justification we have to mention key points given in the clinical case and uh, the key points given in uh, on examination causes due to vitamin c deficiency we know the various function of vitamin c 
द बायोकेमिकल बेसिस इज इज एज विटामिन सी इज डेफिशियंट इट इज नॉट एबल टू परफॉर्म इट्स फंक्शन एंड दैट्स वाई द आयन एब्जॉर्बशन इज डिफेक्टिव कोलेजन फॉर्मेशन इज डिफेक्टिव एंड इट रिजल्ट इन द वेरियस क्लिनिकल फीचर्स सीन इन द गिवन केस डायटरी एडवाइस विटामिन सी शुड बी गिवन टू द पेशेंट वेरियस फूड कंटेनिंग विटामिन सी शुड बी एडवाइज विटामिन सी हैज वेरियस थेरापेटिक uses we have already seen is the deficient nutrient synthesized in the body no because in humans and higher primates the enzyme of uronic acid pathway that is gluconolactone oxidase it is absent so vitamin c cannot be synthesized in humans and that's why it becomes essential vitamin which has to be supplied in the diet so in today's video we have seen about uh, dietary sources rda biochemical functions deficiency manifestations assessment therapeutic uses of vitamin c i hope this video will be useful to you if you find the content on this channel useful please subscribe to this channel like and share the videos and help this channel to grow thank you for watching and happy learning